Um, you hoping they'll die of boredom? Oh, no, I'm just kind of seeing what happens with stuff. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing. They're like, what is going on? Three damage to that. Six damage to that. And we just get an Ezreal? Oh, because we, we got a rekindler that brought back Ezreal. That was the craziest thing that happened. I don't even know what went on. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Draven Ezreal to start off this Rank Up Sunday stream. We're going to be playing four very good decks, kind of a little bit closer to the metagame than what we normally play and uh, hopefully do some ranking up with us playing some pretty good decks. Starting with Draven Ezreal, we have a new version of Draven Ezreal here, or at least just some new tools for Draven Ezreal. I'm very excited about Aloof Travelers. This card's just always so good, and it makes your opponent discard their highest cost card, which in this deck that's aiming to play a longer game, those highest cost cards are usually the ones that are mo the most difficult to deal with. And uh, so, you know, the Aloof Travelers will help help you deal with them right away, you know, like card like Leviathan or, or whatever, anything like that. Uh, we're also going to be playing Lost Soul. I did play against Draven Ezreal one time since Lost Soul came out, and my opponent discarded Lost Soul, and I was dead, <laughs> kind of on the spot. The Lost Soul just took over the game. Twinblade Revenant is pretty awesome, being that, that challenger and everything. So I think that's a pretty neat top end card. Now, no Captain Farron in here, as you can see, but if we do need Captain Farron, maybe a card like Station Archivist could turn into a Captain Farron at the top end or, you know, a Time Winder or something like that. Uh, let's see, but you know, besides that, most all the same normal stuff. I could also see building this deck without even playing Tribeam and Probulator and kind of, you know, maybe focusing more on like especially if you need like earlier blockers you know you can you can play like ballistic bot or house spider or something like that in here also you don't have to just because you play draven ezreal you don't have to play tribe even probulator is i guess the point that i'm trying to get to but anyway we, we will be playing in here um i'm playing a, a spicy grave physician i don't think I've, I've never seen anybody else play a grave physician in here just want to um be able to you know just get another discard outlet draw a unit all of our units are very good to have like basically in the early game and late game and so i think that we have some some really key units to get especially of course our champions all right but anyway let's get to it let's go ahead and play five games in ranked here we go starting diamond four <laughs> let's see how far up diamond we can get today hopefully pick up some wins just because we're doing a rank up sunday stream does not mean that we will get a lot of wins <laughs> we've definitely experienced that before of us being like, all right, let's play these good decks and let's play rank up day. And then we go like, oh, five. <laughs> anyway, Timo Sejuani, I love the dredger lost soul combo. Want to keep that. And I want to keep the thermogenic beam for round one. Um, round one, Timo. And then I, the Flock, I mean, I guess we just keep Flock because Flock's just a great card, but this is the one that I wasn't quite sure about. Could see Mulliganing Flock, but I mean, it's it's Ravenous Flock. It's a it's an awesome card. Yes! Three cost ravenous flock for our tribune probulator. <laughs> the party has arrived. That was the prank that I was hoping they would do. Obviously, you don't want any prank, but as far as a prank goes, that's about as helpful as it could be. All right, just kind of hang, hang off of doing anything else. Ooh, stun flock combo. Oh, I meant, <laughs> I meant to discard the lasso. <laughs> Not gonna lie. We made it. No. Hey, but our stuff did it. 
<laughs> Just kidding. We got the aloof traveler's protection. Um, I could definitely see us playing an our aloof traveler to try to get rid of a Sejuani, thinking that that's the most likely card that they have in hand is a Sejuani. If I do that, I only have two mana. One regular, one spell mana. I don't really have any other good plays. You hoping they'll die of boredom? Uh, no. Just kind of hoping they die. Axes coming right up. Uh, Kay says, this deck is the most anti-fun to play against. Is that the Draven Ezreal deck? Is that the one you're referring to? Let's see if that's the deck. These old eyes still see far and clear. I'm going to just run out of cards in hand, though. I guess I should just use Spinning Axe. Because mm, I really want to play this and get rid of Sejuani. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. Yeah, getting rid of such one important. But I still have 10 cards, so I guess I should have Spinning Axe, discard Spinning Axe. And gotten 1 out of 2 level up for Draven. And also got an additional point of damage in on them. Time for the money makers. Well, we did make them discard a Sejuani. So that's very good. When I'm summoned or attacked. Um, anybody have an answer in, in chat for uh, Envis? Asks, how new is the adventure pack? I do not know the answer to that question. Maybe somebody in chat does. I'm not sure exactly what the adventure pack is. be a nice time for the deal one to two different things but we don't got that kind of weird that they frostbit the aloof travelers and not the draven Have another frostbite card for the Draven, don't they? Well, I guess we'll force them to use it if they have it. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? I don't want to speed things up. I don't want to speed things up one bit. So the Flame Chompers gets obliterated. They use Frostbite and the Draven dies as well. So I'm kind of down on cards. However, as you can tell, they have zero cards in hand. So even though I'm kind of down on cards, they are also very down on cards. The only reason to do this like this is, is if they find a Sejuani, which they don't have the mana to play a Sejuani right now anyway. We made it. Wow. But our stuff did it. These aloof travelers. 
That was a very good round for them. A very good round indeed. I mean, that pranked flock wasn't bad for us. Um, obviously, we discarded to the Louvre Travelers, but we didn't need to discard it to, like, Spinning Axe. It wasn't going to be bad for us. Time, Especially we would, if we put have found uh, Tribeam and Probulator. But this is why I don't love Tribeam and Probulator. Is... Uh, games like this. I don't think I need to just attack with a lot of other stuff and just give them the opportunity to block with Sentry and draw cards. Okay, they're going in Tomb. Alright, so now our other Ezreal is going to come back and we're going to have two leveled up Ezreals. And them winning from two leveled up Ezreals, I'm not so sure about that. This is going to hurt for you. Yep, that's all fine with me. Lost Soul is good. I'm not exactly sure why everything... They've seen everything. We have done a terrible job drawing puff caps this game. Yeah, double double Ezreal, this is pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty crazy. Alright, well we got the win. It was really close there at the end. They did a great job drawing Aloof Travelers. I did a terrible job drawing Pop Caps and it ended up being a close game. Okay, Lulu Poppy. Let's see how we do against the number one deck. Popularity wise, number one deck. I'm going to send the flock back, keep the rest. I could see mulliganing Ezreal, and maybe that's a mistake, not mulliganing the Ezreal. Because of Sharp Sight. Like, maybe this is just, like, Demo maybe just you see Demacia, you mulligan Ezreal. I completely understand that. This is a pretty awkward hand that we have. We have a lot of things that we want to discard, but we have no ways to discard them. Watch and learn. Um, considering passing. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? It wouldn't be a quest without some danger. The same calling card from our other case. This should get the sharp side out of their hand. Could also just get a Ranger's Resolve, though. I could see that. 
That one's worse for me. So the problem here is... It's difficult to get this Thermal Dragon Beam back to 3 mana. I want it I want it to be a 3 cost, you know, 3 mana deal 3. It's difficult to do that. I need discard outlets for these Lost Souls. We don't have enough discard outlets. Run them through. Lost Souls are not looking so good right now with no discard outlets. That would have been nice to have. Stay hidden. That's just the way it's got to go. I'd like to get more numbers on this thing, but we just can't. I want to hit Minotaur Reckoner. I will take in Velos Fox. That's a good one. That one will do. So five out of six for Ezreal. <laughs> the third Poppy. I was about to ask that. I was like, I was about to ask what do y'all think the chances are they have another Poppy. I should play it as real first. Yeah, the two lost souls are pretty useless. But they're targeting Poppy, I think they definitely save Poppy. I don't have a rummage in the deck, but a rummage would be the best draw we could have. Why not target the Poppy? I think if I if I target Poppy, they save it with Sharp Sight, or you know whatever like that. They definitely have Sharp Sight in hand. So they save it with something. Wow, that ended up actually working out really well for me. <laughs> I don't know why I was talking like that. This is a weird and odd time for this Golden Ages. Couldn't they have just done this last round whenever they had all the other stuff? Like they had the Quick Attack Challengers and stuff? Firing. Like there's no Challengers over there. What are they supposed to do with this Golden Ages? I guess this is why you play Tribeam, because sometimes Tribeam just gives you dragons.
Down to five. Fun. Five's not zero. So what's their plan with no cards? Basically, with just this one card. Their plan is pass. Pass doesn't sound like a very good plan. I could have loof travelers, but maybe this is just you know this seems like a card that just doesn't matter. That doesn't do anything. Okay. You dropped something. I dropped everything. All right, there we go. That'll do. Two and one would, or two and zero oh with Draven Ezreal. Easy, like my name. Tribeam was MVP there. Uh, I don't know. I still don't really want Rummage, even though like that. That was just kind of a weird game where Rummage was would have been great right there. See, like this game, like, look, we have all these ways to discard now uh, in this game. Well, we got Teemo, Caitlyn. Timewinder, probably good against Teemo, Caitlyn, especially the Teemo part of Teemo, Caitlyn. But even the uh, the other two mana card, the Sting Officer, both of those get Timewinded. Trinket Trade is busted. Make this cost one more. No, no, don't make it cost two more. Make it cost one more. Well, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Hey, <laughs> yeah, the otters are crazy. Certainly the fuzziest partner I've worked with. Well. Alright, so that went well. We got two things for the Tribeam and Probulator. Take a hit for four, or kill team, and kill Teemo, or Let me just do this. You think I should kill Teemo there? I don't know. They're kind of inviting me to kill Teemo. It feels like. Keep getting our tri-beam up higher. Nothing like the great outdoors. Or the great her indoors. Need victims. That's twice our opponents loop a loop travelered us and just turned our lost soul into a twin blade revenant. It's twice that's happened. I don't know, I was thinking about leveling up Draven there with Whirling Death. But, nah. I'm gonna try to Timewinder these two. Timewinder would leave me with uh, five mana left. Three mana left. The pass priority. I know I could play some treasure, but exactly. That's what to say, like they could play a peddler or a Caitlyn, and then we have the three mana thermo. Which is like the perfect amount of mana thermo. Alright, that went well. Still got a good amount of puff caps over here. Officer, 
J.S. Hawkjaw, Unit 6. Okay. Or a Glinthorn. Just take, just take a six six. We do twelve damage to them if I want to like flame chompers challenge the veteran investigator. Now we're cooking. That's worth it. Thirteen damage, right? I don't imagine they have any Nexus healing. Never know what hit them. Yeah, no. Yeah, can't imagine they have any Nexus healing. There we go, that'll do. All right, we are three and O. Oh, Draven, Ezreal, getting it done. Lost Souls is a really good anti-aloof travelers card. <laughs> That's been helping out. Draven Scion. We'll be playing Draven Scion later. Wow, they have really leveled up that Scion pretty quickly. They have played this deck a bunch. Probably not the best aloof travelers matchup, speaking of those Lost Souls. So let's go ahead and send these two back. Jack. Draw some more again. Okay, so let's lead with the boom ba boom. Death is transient, as long as the body holds blood. Yes, you could do. Yeah, Grave Protector is an MVP. My plan, I, mean, I don't know, I was thinking about going Spinning Axe, play Twin Blade Revenant, but I think, I kind of decided that I'd rather have, um, I'd rather have the Tribeam of Probulators continually increase. That block makes a little bit more sense now, but still not that much. <laughs> but now, now it makes sense. Don't have other ways to increase the Tribeam and Populators right now. Oh, there we go. There's one. Sultan's stitches to awaken the blood within. Death is transient, as long as the body holds blood. So just train the board off. Valid and cold. Still the bleeding. It's Draven time. If I try Loof Traveler Zing to try to get rid of. Um, their seven-man champion, Scion, we're, we know we're just going to hit the Lost Soul instead. So that doesn't really, doesn't really help. You suck. Nice. We'll take a Bruiser. Get a Lucky Find. Got access, need victims. Poor thing. Interesting. Discarded Scion. Now we're cooking. 
Alright, Bruiser dies. But took up some valuable resources. Yes, uh, yeah, I would agree that the likelihood is that they have another Scion. Yep, so they have another Scion, and it's also likely that that Scion is going to be killing me. All of these very likely outcomes. Right now I'm counting 12 damage. What are you waiting for? It's like what I could do. Time for the money makers. Axis coming right up. Okay, so I didn't um I know I could have done one more point of damage with the Spinning Axe, but they usually play like a decent amount of spells for removal, so I, d I didn't want to go that all in because um, if they would have done that, then I would have wanted to use the Spinning Axe on the O2 to put one damage on the Scion to help with the Scorched Earth. So I wanted to leave my options open, but they just took all the damage, so now it's basically all about, all about Mystic Shant. And so I guess we're just playing this thing and looking for Mystic Shant. Uh, I guess get excited to card as well. Fine. Looks like we could get a we could steal a win here. There we go. How about that? Good job, Archivist. And we're 4 0. Fizz Poppy. A lot of people are thinking this is the new best Poppy deck using. Uh, Noxus for Ravenous Flock and House Spider. And things like that. I think I'm going to mulligan the Flock and the Travelers. Just keep these two removal spells and look for some threes and Tribeam and that kind of stuff. No, they're not like an elusive deck with Noxion Fervor. They're just a regular poppy deck. Make tons and tons of stuff. Bandle City Mayor. All that kind of stuff. You best believe. These travel travelers are aloof. Let me at him. Let me at him. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. All right, well, that's probably pretty good. Get, ready to get rid of that copy. Probably could have let them attack first and done this after attackers. The reason why I did it right now is like if they use whatever spell to save it, then we then we have flock. They're doing that to give the fizz elusive. Which I guess I could have just one damage thermogenic beam the fizz, but just fizz. Time for a true display of skill. Yeah, no tri beam this game for us. It's gonna make life more difficult. Man, how much this deck would love to have that card, Pokey Stick. How about that? 
How about that? This is the card they just drew with that pokey stick. It's gonna deal four. How about that? So I can I can basically play the ravenous flock to kill the fizz. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? Guess that's worth it. Because then that makes their spell fizzle. That kills their fizz. Think about thermo that thing. Man, loping telescope is busted. Or just block. All right, I guess this is the play. My hand's very poor. <laughs> yeah, Bandle is pretty good, isn't it? Probably gonna be able to go really wide here, including if they play a poppy. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Man, I would have loved to have that aloof travelers. Man, I would have loved to have that aloof travelers. It's like our, our best card that we've seen in like five or six draws, and that's the card we discard. <laughs> that's too bad. I don't have confidence in us pulling out the 5-0. Mayor and telescope too strong. Today's the day I find that hero. Wonderful sump treasure draw. Soul always good. They've never seen a contraption like this before. <laughs> I'm basically worried about Poppy. I'm not really worried about like all this stuff. Like if I if I get excited, the Bandle City Mayor, I'm worried about Poppy. Mm, I guess I need to. Of those group shots. Oh, that puts it back into my hand to discard again. Just two life. Flame Chompers can probably save more than two life later. Alright, this is looking good for us. It didn't look so good a little while ago, but now it's looking good. Playing this so I can draw a card so we have more information on, on what we're doing. Before we make more decisions.
turning this thermo into a three mana deal three. Fizz. Fizz could be trouble. This could be trouble. Bust a shot. The party has arrived. Over here. Okay. We really need to challenge this Fizz with the Revenant. Can Loping Telescope just make any card in the entire game? I guess it's an epic, that's why. Okay, so it just makes epics. Which is random. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. Alright, well that's good. Oh wait, now I don't have room for the unit. Hmm, I didn't really think that through. I'm pretty glad they blocked with that thing. With the with the overwhelm thing. Alright, gonna play the Archivist. Yeah, you got Feel the Rush one time off of the Loping Telescope. Man, this is so close. This is a, this was the problem with the Invoke, and also kind of with Manifest, is that the decisions are difficult. And so it does make the games take a while, because you have to like sit there and really think for a while. Alright, so we're gonna take the Get Excited. This makes a 4-2 Overwhelm. Can I do this and then this and it'll make that seven whoa it's like gone from the middle it's just gone that that card's gone well if i don't want to play it it's gone you hoping they'll die of boredom oh no i'm just kind of just seeing what happens with stuff <laughs> that's the weirdest thing they're like what is going on three damage to that Six damage to that. And we just get an Ezreal? Oh, because we, we got a rekindler that brought back Ezreal. That was the craziest thing that happened. I don't even know what went on. And maybe those other guys. Whatever. That was a pretty crazy way to end that. <laughs> what a game. Yeah, I, I did not think that we were going to be winning that last game. For a while there, you know, like all those created cards they had and everything. But then they kind of just stopped playing playing stuff and didn't really have any more gas uh, it was really important that we did have the aloof travelers make them discard the bandle tree earlier in the game because i bet that's you know they would have won with that bandle tree most likely and with them not having that bandle tree they didn't find an additional bandle tree uh, they just kind of had a whole bunch of like tutus and eventually we were able to stabilize and once we did then we had it the lost souls were awesome there was the one game where we had both lost souls thanks jess <laughs> thanks for the cheers there was the one game where we did have both Lost Souls, and then they looked pretty awkward having both of them in hand, and we had no ways to discard them. But besides that, they were really, really good, and we usually had a lot of different ways to discard them. But even we saw like that very last game, when you get to the super late game, which you will sometimes with Draven Ezreal, hard casting this Lost Soul, then summoning a twin, you know, it summons a Twin Blade Revenant, which then, you know, you can use to make more Lost Souls, right? You, like, this card is just incredible in this super late game. Tribeam MVP, yeah, I, I uh, was saying that we could probably play the deck without Tribeam, but I think I'm probably wrong about that. I don't know, Tribeam was awesome for us in many different games. And the Station Archivist really did a good job different times. It was nice having this this card as a one-of. 
All right, but that's going to be it here for this uh, first deck for Rank Up Sunday. Great way to start the stream off. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments. Let me know if you're continuing to play Draven Ezreal in the new meta and how do you like these new upgrades with having, uh, now we got Grave Physician, Station Archivist, Aloof Travelers, Lost Soul. Got a lot of new tools for Draven Ezreal. So let me know how you've been enjoying the deck if you try it out yourself. But that's going to be it for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.